Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to use the mean to find a missing data value. Alright, let's consider the following problem. It reads, the, aver the average of the score of 8 students in Mr. Kim's class is 75. If the score of the first 7 students are 78, 73, 74, 77, 75, 79, and 72, what is the score of the 8th student? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve this problem. We're going to start off by taking a look at the formula for finding uh, average. Okay, so formula for average or mean, they mean exactly the same thing. So formula for mean or average. So the mean which can be written as x bar is basically the sum of values or we can say sum of numbers the sum of numbers divided by what the sum of numbers and the data set divided by the number of numbers in the data set okay so that's simply how you find the the mean or average of a data set Alright, so now we're going to apply this formula to this scenario that we're dealing with right here. Um, so we know what the mean is. The mean or the average is um, 75. So we need to find the score of the 8th student. We don't know what that is, so let's declare it, okay? So let the 8th student, let the 8th student be what? Let the 8th student be x. Alright, so we're now going to make use of the formula to set up an algebraic equation that we are going to solve. Alright, so the setup is as follows. The mean goes first, so um, the mean is 75 equals the sum of numbers. So the sum of the numbers is going to be 78 plus 73 plus 74 plus 77, plus 75, plus 79, plus uh, 72. So this, this is the sum of the first seven, but there's one more number, namely x. Okay, so plus that eighth number that we do not know what it is. So we're calling that x. All right, so this is the sum of the numbers. And then we're going to divide that by the number of numbers that we have. How many numbers are we adding? We're adding a total of eight numbers. All right. So let's go ahead and simplify this resulting algebraic equation. So we have 75 equals. Now we're going to go ahead and add. So we have 78 plus 73 plus 74 plus 77 plus 75 plus 79 plus 72 enter and then we get a total of 528 so let's check it again 78 plus 73 plus 74 plus 77 plus 75 plus 79 plus 72 is 528 so we have 528 as a sum of the first seven plus the eighth one x divided by eight. Now how do we solve this resulting algebraic equation? We're going to solve this um, using two steps. First of all, we just basically multiply both sides by eight to get rid of this eight at the bottom and then we'll proceed to um, subtract 528 from both sides. All right, so let's go ahead and carry out um, those steps. We'll start out by multiplying both sides by 8. Let's see what we get. On the left side, 8 times 75. 8 times 75 is 600. So we have 600 equals 528 plus x. All right, with the multiplying, on the right side, notice that the 8s take each other out. 
last step we'll just subtract 528 from both sides of the equation and that should give us our final answer okay so subtract 528 from both sides and then 528 um, so 600 minus 528 is 72 all right so 72 is equal to X and that ladies and gentlemen is our final answer all right so let's go ahead and write down our conclusion what does the result that we just got mean it means that the eighth the score of the eighth student student is 72 and that's that all right let's take a look at another question um, it reads Joe Wider calculated the average weight that seven bodybuilders could bench as 300 pounds if the first six bodybuilders could bench 320, 310, 295, 305, 295, and 300 pounds respectively, how many pounds can the seventh bodybuilder bench? Okay, so let's go ahead and um, solve this problem. Uh, to get us started, let's take a look, remind ourselves what the formula is for average. Okay, formula for average or mean, remember they mean the same thing. So the formula for average or mean x bar is basically sum of values or numbers divided by what? The number of values or numbers. Okay? In this particular case, the mean, the the average of all the up with that all seven could bench the mean which is the same thing as X bar is 300 okay we are to find out the amount of pounds that the seventh bodybuilder could bench so let um, <coughs> the um, weight of the seventh be what do we want to call it let's just call it S all right so let s represent the amount of pounds that the seventh bodybuilder can bench now we're going to go ahead and look for the value of s all right so still using this formula let's write it again average is equal to sum of numbers divided by the number of numbers let's substitute the average is 300 okay the sum of numbers is 320 plus 310 plus 295 plus 305 plus 300 now this is for the first 1 2 3 4 5 so I'm missing one 320 310 295 305 and then we have another 295 before the 305 so let's put that in so we have plus um, so then after 295 is 305 and then after 305 is another 295 and then 300 and then we'll add the w the amount of pounds that a seventh bodybuilder can uh, lift we're gonna call that s all right and then we're going to take all that and divide it by the sum of numbers that we are adding. How many numbers are we adding? We're adding a total of seven numbers. Okay, now let's go ahead and calculate the sum of the first six. So that's 320 plus 310 plus 295 plus 
plus another 295 plus 300 Alright, so that's the sum of the first six bodybuilders. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 320, 310, 295, 305, 295, and 300. So we have 1,825 pounds. So 300 is going to be 1, 8, 2, 5 pounds. 1, 8, 2, 5. So plus the um the seventh one which we don't know so we're gonna call it S that divided by seven. Now what we're going to do is solve this resulting equation for S. In order to do that, we're gonna carry out two algebraic steps. First of all, just multiply both sides by seven to get rid of the denominator. And then we'll subtract 1,825 from both sides to get S by itself. Okay, so multiply both sides by 7. 7 times 300 is 2,100 equals 1,825 plus um, S because the 7's divide out. Alrighty. Alright, last step, we'll just subtract uh, 1825 from both sides to reveal the weight of the seventh, the eighth bodybuilder. So subtract 1825 from both sides. And then our final answer, S, is going to be <coughs> 2100 minus the answer that I got previously and you have it 275 pounds alright so what does this answer mean let's go ahead and write down our conclusion the conclusion is that the eighth bodybuilder Um, benched 275 pounds. All right, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, averages, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below, and we will be more than glad to um, support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other math tutorials such as this. More tools and support resources can be found at mathgotserve.com, our website. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.